What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, man. I'm back in the building. I just got off work. They worked me hard as hell today. But we out here in these streets. We out here in these streets, baby. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, I'm gonna talk to them about them cowboys second. Uh, I'm gonna talk about these Washington Commanders first because they just pissing me off. Dan Quinn, you just pissing me off, dog. I ain't gonna even lie. Dan Quinn, you pissing me off. Um, you know, I, I ain't wanna be the guy. You know, I didn't want to be the guy to sit there and say, Dan Quinn threw that playoff game. You know what I'm saying? I ain't wanna I ain't wanna be that dude to be like he threw that playoff game and it just looked like that that was crazy. You feel me? Like we know what happened in that game, but it just it just looked totally discombobulated. It looked like the life that was gone from that team and that defense giving up I mean to go out like that and then go to commanders bothered me, but I just, you know, try not to think about it. But now, dog, I'm going to just keep it real. I don't hate nobody because I don't know that man. But in football terms, not in real life terms, but in football terms, I hate you, Dan Quinn. Yeah, I do. In football terms, you's a hoe. You's a straight hoe. Now, I know people got to do this and whatever, but Washington always take our players. Washington always took Dallas players since the beginning of time. Since free agency, Washington always copied off Dallas. Always, anytime Dallas had some decent good players and they got rid of them, Washington was quick to snatch them. They always snatch them. I can't. I, I hate Washington. I hate Washington with a passion. I got five top teams. I hate, and San Francisco and Washington are too top. Now San Francisco was inching above Washington because San Francisco been kicking Dallas's ass the last few years and they inched above. But my hatred towards Washington is more than my hatred towards San Francisco. I hate Washington. I hate everything about Washington. I don't like nothing about no Washington. I can't stand them. The fans, I don't hate y'all like in real life. But as far as fandom, I can't stand y'all. Always running your mouths, and y'all always got Dallas in your mouths too. Y'all the one that started that we, we want Dallas crap. Y'all feel me? So to see that whole ass Quinn, yeah, you a hoe. To see him go have that kind of performance and then go right to the commanders. And then you is so weak, bro. Like you don't know no other teams. It's kind of like, it's kind of like your friend or somebody and he wants your girl. You know what I'm saying? It's 8 million women out there and he wants your chick. You feel me? Or, you know, I don't get that. As Soon as you left, you try to gut the staff. Cowboys had to start blocking you from trying to take every damn body. And we knew you was coming after the players. Soon as free agency started, you taking like four staff members, try to take the whole damn staff. Then you get Dorrance Armstrong, Tyler B. Addish. You're going to get more. You're probably going to get Curse. You might get Jordan Lewis. You, 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 you probably going to get more. I know it's the nature of the business. I know it's the nature of the business. But it's the nature of my business to call you a hoe. And that Washington rivalry that everybody talk, Washington ain't in Dallas' rival no more. I bet you they are now. And if you ain't saying they are, that's fine. But they my rival. I hate y'all. And if Dallas don't win no games next year, they better win them two against them Washington Commanders. And be, they better beat that ass. They better not just barely get, they better stomp them dudes. For real. He getting all kind of intel. You know, man, I talked to the guys before I left, told them, man, shut up, Dan Quinn. Just shut up, bro. You a hoe. You a hoe. That's why I, I hope you flame out just like you did in Atlanta. You went to a Super Bowl. I can't hate on that, but I hope you flame out. You know, I was, and, I, and it's funny because I was all, you know, I was skeptical when your ass came on board. Me and Boss Cowboys had to talk about you. We said you were soft and weak and, and all that stuff, but we said we knew the Cowboys was going to get you because you was a name and you coached with the Legion of Boom. That's the only reason why Dallas hired you. That's the only reason why. I hope you flame out quick. Hope we beat the brakes off of y'all. I can't stand Washington. I can't stand Dan Quinn now. 
So if there wasn't no rivalry, y'all areas to me, it ain't never went nowhere, but it's been intensified now. Use a snake, you use use a hoe, and I don't like you as far as football terms. I'm saying this all in football terms, not as a man to man, but in football terms, use a hoe in football terms. Okay. So you yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm pissed about that because it's like, dude, as soon as you left, you just, oh, I take this. It's like when I used to coach you, are you football, man? When we, we had, when we started our youth football team, man, we, we, I still got kids, 22, 23, 24, 25, still calling me Coach J to this day. You feel me? We was riders for each other, riders for each other. And, 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 and I get it. Some kids going to leave and go play for other teams. I get it. But when a kid left our team and went to a rival, a team that we hated, we wasn't, we wasn't, we wasn't, we wasn't being doing nothing illegal, but we sure was hitting you a little bit harder. We was hitting you a little bit harder. Yes, we was. I made sure. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, if you I, just hit them good, make sure and let them know. Let them know. You feel me? And that's why I feel like Dan Quinn, you just recruited all my kids from my team and put them on your team because you a whack ass coach. That's what I feel about you. Tony Pollard's going to Texas, Tennessee Titans. Good for him. I'm I'm happy for Tony Pollard because they weren't gonna pay you in Dallas. So I'm glad you got your money. I'm glad you ain't gotta hear that noise from the Cowboys fans no more either. So this is my last part of this. It's with these Dallas Cowboys. You know what? I, I, I don't even want to say nothing about free agency no more because we already know what it is. But it just bothers me, dog. Like, when I looked at the free agency tracker and I seen people signing, and I'm tired of people telling me, oh, free agency ain't over. Dog, we all know Dallas waits for the third wave of free agents. Bro, like, that don't, man, dog, they got busy in trading with Brandon Cooks and Stephen Gilmore. They didn't wait in no free agency. They had one whole name by Dallas Cowboys free agency while everybody else is filled up, Carl Davis. Bro, like, I don't know how we supposed to be cool with that. How are we supposed to just accept that? Oh, that's just the way it is. No, it ain't supposed to be the way it is. I know there's still a lot of guys out there. Grover, Grover Stewart already re-signed. A'shaun Robinson still out there. I wish we could have got Saquon Barkley. I'm mad as hell them Eagles got Saquon Barkley. That's going to be a problem, dog. Saquon Barkley, he stay healthy with them Eagles. That's going to be a problem. I don't care what y'all tell me about no damn Kellen Moore. That's going to be a problem, dog. You better get Derrick Henry. You better get him. Or, or Aaron Jones. You better get one of them, too. You better get one of them too. And you better get A'shaun Robinson. Stop playing around. But I mean, everybody signing up the guys. And Dallas don't understand why, Stephen Jones, you just said it. Well, we gotta get some guys in here that can play the right way so we can get over the hump. Didn't he say that in his meeting when he was at the combine? That's what he said. We got to get some guys in here that can get deck and we do great in the regular season, but we got to get over the hump. So why the hell are you still waiting for free agency then? Them is the guys that get you over the hump. You going to try to be too smart. You can sign Gallup. I mean, not Gallup. He gone. You can sign Dak. Now they're talking about, we, James Slater talking about it's going to ride out till possibly August and Dak may say, bump y'all, I ain't signing and I'm going to just let it play out. If they let it play out, then leave Dak, please go somewhere and just leave. If Dak says I ain't signing and I want to let this play out, go somewhere else, please. Just go somewhere else. I'm tired of them beating you up. I'm tired of the back and forth. I'm tired of hearing about your contract. I'm tired of people talking about you every day. Just don't sign Dak. Play this damn year out and go somewhere else. Not not even saying that I hate you. Just go somewhere else so we ain't got to hear this noise no more. Let these dudes get Trey Lance and just let them do this, man. I'm just tired of it. Because y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all sitting on CD. Y'all sitting on deck. Y'all can restructure, rework. Y'all did it with Zach Martin. Y'all can get busy, but y'all ain't getting busy. Y'all want to prove y'all the smartest in the bunch and y'all always eventually cave. So how are y'all smart? Y'all eventually always cave, and by the time y'all cave, all the good guys is gone. 
So you're going to end up keeping your same dudes and say, make it work. And them other teams get better in free agency, okay? You add to your team in the draft, but you get better in free agency instantly. You build for the future in the draft, but you get better instantly in free agency. And Dallas don't do that. And that's why they don't get over the hump, Stephen Jones, you goofy-ass dummy. You goofy as hell, bro. This organization is goofy. And I don't care. I can... I, I said, you know what? I ain't even I ain't even tripping on these dudes, but you know I am gonna trip because I want to get mad. I, I'm not mad, but I want to say stuff so we can keep on saying the stuff in the air. Yeah, Stephen Jones may not, Baby Nuts Jones. You may not hear none of this. You may not hear none of this. You may not hear none of this. But I don't care. I'm gonna just keep yelling this in the streets that you get on my damn nerves. You kid, all you you get on my nerves. You suck for the Cowboys, and we gotta have a loud ass noise to this dude, or it's gonna be the same thing year in and year out. And Dallas be competitive Dallas fails Dallas be competitive Dallas fails we got to fight the power dog and we I, it's almost like we need for them to fail because if they don't fail they ain't never he ain't never changing that way so whatever man F you Washington F you Dan Quinn F you Stephen Jones and I'm out